Huh? What is it now? Wasn't the game supposed to have started already? Yeah, well, yes. But the junk press broke down, and we thought we'd use the time for a little tutorial. Who thought that? I don't need no stinking tutorials. So how are you going to fix the junk press? Just watch me and learn. Maybe you want to listen to what I have to say first? But you don't have anything to say. Oh, come on. It won't be long. Just point the cursor at me and left-click. We'll see about that. Um, I'm here. Yeah, I know that. Didn't you want to talk to me? Just point at me and left-click. Will you stop yakking then? Actually, I wanted to give you the next hint. Really? How extraordinarily exciting. Up here, Rufus. Up here. Yes, I know. Computer, talk to Wenzel. You don't have to say that explicitly. Um, who's talking to you? Why, you are. You clicked on me. Smarty pants. Just tell me what's wrong with the junk press. And stop wiggling your feet. It's pressing only very gently now and doesn't really squish sufficiently. Hey, every idiot can see that. Well, why don't you present the tutorial then? Okay, piece of cake. But first, I'll explain... Um, how to talk to somebody. You click on a character with the mouth icon. <laughs> no, you're completely wrong. I'm talking to you using the speech bubble icon. Everyone knows there's no mouth icon in this game, but there's a speech bubble icon to talk instead. Oh, and my favorite icon, the Rufus head icon for putting on, eating, and drinking things. If you can't even understand that, how am I ever going to be able to teach you how? How to look at an object. I know that. I see. And how? I point my cursor at it and right-click when I see the eye icon. Well, the theory is easy, but how about the actual practice? Hey, this is your tutorial. You're a cop-out, but be that as it may, I'll demonstrate. Uh, do you see that little uh, thingy on the floor over there? I will now use the um, tongue icon. The eye icon. Yeah, I will now click on it, thusly having a look at it. So you better watch closely. I thought you wanted to have a look at that thing on the floor. I can see it. It's lying there. I mean, look more closely. You just point at it and right-click when the eye icon appears. What's that? It's a cathode plunger. Thanks for the input, Wenzel, but I recognize a hydro clamp duplexer when I see one. Too bad I can only look at it. A duplexer like that could be useful. You can pick it up. You just have to point your cursor at it so the hand icon appears. If you left-click now, you'll pick it up. There has to be an easier way. If you say so. Okay, I've picked up the duplexer, but what am I supposed to do with it now? You put it into your inventory. That's where all the items go. You've picked up that object. Now you can open your inventory by using your mouse wheel. Hey, there it is. Correct. This is your inventory. Yeah, I knew that. It's where you can see what you're carrying around. You still know how to do that, don't you? What am I supposed to do with this? Well, then watch me fix it. Look, Wenzel, I'm almost done. Impressive. But I mean that. Huh, it fits. Now you have to... Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. If you say so. Uh, Rufus, there's one more thing. I told you I'd manage without your help. Now, all I have to do is press this button here, and right away... Oh, how I love tutorials!
It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Junk. Junk. And more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. It really is time I got out of here. Ah, there's my list. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... well... I guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. How did this end up here? This could be useful. The oil is rancid, but I could use it for hair wax. The best thing about it is the can. Oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left the ponia without me. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. This is Tony's room, the lion's den, or more aptly, the dragon's lair. Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. Ah! <laughs> well, what's that? A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together at all. Another note from Tony. And what's she complaining about now? Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right, in her dreams. This could be useful. Huh, it's seen better days for sure. Whoa! What the? The toothbrush bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. It's mocking me. Yeah, well, j just you wait. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh, crap. I need a better plan to catch it.
You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? The good old sofa. Too bad I can't fit it into my escape pod. I've had the most amazing ideas sitting here. Plus, you can always find leftovers in it. I don't see why I, of all people, should do the dishes. I mean, Tony has much more experience with it. I don't see why I, of all people, should do the... I mean, Tony... Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. Let's get rid of this thing. Huh. Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. I should use my provisions wisely. It'll be a long journey. You scoffed all the food yet again. And I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. How did this end up here? I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock! Cool! Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. Not a chance. The handle is missing and I can't get my fingers into the cracks. Ouch! The mouse skedaddled long ago, which doesn't mean that its plan was better than mine. <laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Ha! Gotcha! Ha! Gotcha! I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. I usually leave that stuff for Tony. I've only used it once. But all my clothes got discolored and the shed burned down. A bolt cutter is a pretty useless gadget if you think about it. And Tony keeps complaining that I don't do enough housework. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash.
In you go. <laughs> and Tony keeps complaining that I don't... Whoa, look at that! The sock changed color! Who would have thought it? But where's the other one? Clear case of subtractive color mixing. Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! Toothbrush. Check. Provisions. Check. Socks. Check. Bolt cutter, for whatever reason. Check. Ah, seems like I've packed everything. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Oh, seems like I've got to unpack something, but what? I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> now it sits. Packed and ready to go! Ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure, help yourself. As if anything on this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remembered to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. Trusty Wenzel. I wonder how he's going to cope without me. I should send him a postcard. Hey, Wenzel. Still stuck in no man's land? <laughs> it's your own fault, dunce. Yeah, something along those lines. My trusty wrench. I wonder why this wasn't on the list. <laughs> well, never mind. Hmm. I might be able to do without this. <laughs> New problem. Oh, crap. It's screwed tight. 